The British Empire thought India was a land of mysteries. They didn't know the biggest one would rewrite global forensic science. Jalpaiguri, Bengal, 1898. A village home, a locked room, a brutal double murder. No witnesses, no confession. Only blood, panic, and one greasy thumbprint on a door frame. The Bengal police were stuck. Every suspect had an alibi. Every trail ran cold. But inside the dusty records room of Calcutta Police HQ, three men were building something the world didn't understand yet. Azizul Haque, Hemchandra Bose, Edward Henry, the architects of fingerprint classification, working silently under colonial shadows, building the method Scotland Yard would later steal credit for. When the Jalpaiguri murder file arrived, something shifted. For the first time in history, they compared the crime scene print to their new classification system. Whorls, loops, ridges, geometry of identity, a perfect match. One man, one thumb, one murder he could never deny. When the prints were presented in court, the room froze. The defense called it witchcraft. The judge called it science. And for the first time on record, a man was convicted of murder using fingerprints as primary evidence. Jalpaiguri, not London, became the birthplace of modern forensic justice. The world's first fingerprint murder conviction, the moment the invisible became true. The British celebrated the Edward Henry system. But those who knew whispered the real names, Huck, Bose, two Indians who cracked the code of human identity, then watched the world claim it. But the ridges on that door told a different story, a story where India wasn't behind the signs. India invented it. A single fingerprint sent a murderer to the gallows. A print reshaped global policing. A single print proved that the truth isn't loud. It leaves ridges. It waits on surfaces. It survives everything. And it speaks, even when humans refuse to listen.